This is Caravan Salon in Dusseldorf and this is the Mercedes stand and uh, what I thought I could do now is have a look at the new Sprinter in various forms and uh, the fair hasn't quite opened yet but you can see there's still people uh, cleaning up uh, before the public comes in so I'll try not to get into their way. All right, so here we have a Heimer vehicle. It's based on the Sprinter 318 CDI which came out in the spring of 2018 and in this case we can see it's a 177 horsepower vehicle and with four cylinders. Now let's have a look inside. Now I think Heimer's done a really good job with this but then they do a really good job with everything. Okay, right, so seating group here, L-shaped, great for keeping your feet up there and also wonderful chairs for sitting up and watching the television. Above which we've got this panoramic roof and a bit of space in the bulwark. There's the television. Big screen, but somewhat discreet, I would say, as it's sort of built into the wall. Double floor with storage, as you would expect. Here we have drawers, kitchen, though relatively standard. Tower fridge, wardrobe, lengthwise beds, more storage under the bed, steps up to the bed, and of course, you can fill this bit in if you so desire. And in this case, the fillet is in the garage. So, look at the bathroom. Very nicely appointed. Shower, toilet, wash basin as standard and two mirrors, one built into the door. At the back we've got a skylight, a small one, and here we've got a longer one. And as I mentioned earlier, panoramic skylight at the back. And where you'd expect, you have your electrics. Extension to the kitchen. Not a particularly big one, of course, but you can always use the table for pre preparing stuff. Show you the garage, which is quite big. all that space in there. Enormous really. Now I have more details about this van on my site motorhomefulltime.com so this is the B80 sorry B580 sorry uh, based on the new Sprinter which will include the dimensions and if I get to find out how much it is, the price as well. Let's have a look at some other Sprinter vans. Now this is called the Sprinter Connected Home. So this is on the 316 CDI. It's a camper van. Unlike the other one, which is a motorhome. Now, I really like this van. I'd like to do a sprinter conversion myself. This is the layout that I have already decided I want to do. I, thought, well, I think, given the way I normally speak, that you could have guessed something like that. The only difference I would make is 
well, major difference. I have a really big table. I really appreciate a really big table. One which can move around, because we'll have to go over there, then go back there. And so if you want to get in and out, you're going to have to push up. That's my idea. Let's concentrate on this one. So up here, got a skylight. Oh, actually, I might put a bigger skylight than the one I wanted to do. I've got the bed over there. I've got the fridge. Sorry. Uh, here, there'll be two burners, smallish sink, drawers going down, cabinets all the way around. I'm, in my case, I'm thinking about making this corridor a little bit tighter, give a bit more room. Actually, I might even put one seat in here. So I'm, I'm, I'm thinking of doing <laughs> quite a few things which are different, but in general, it's the width-wise bed at the back which I really like. Now one thing for anybody who wants to build a van is that Mercedes seems to have improved the shape of the Sprinter so it doesn't sort of uh, go off up at an angle as it has done in previous versions. Still does go up at an angle but not to such an extreme extent. Okay and here we've got one of these sinks that goes uh, up and down. So it's a sink now at the moment, but then you put it up like that and sorry, push it in. So it goes up like that and down. Except this one seems to be broken, but I'm sure they uh, do have them in working condition. I'll leave it like that. Let somebody else put it back. There's also a little skylight at the top. One good thing here is there's a lot of space up here uh, for your head by removing the storage which is often found up here you do get lots and lots of headroom. I'm going to stand up here now look back down to the back of the van. So it's called Mercedes-Benz Advanced Control Sprinter Connected. Okay, this is a La Strada Sprinter 416 CDI. So the space there for the table as you come in. Also got a width-wise bed, small fridge, additional storage down here. And a unconventionally shaped bed, which I think is always good for getting more space in the van. The drawers down there. One thing I'd point out though, that uh, in my opinion I don't really like the inside so much. The, uh, we've got the wood, you're supposed to put up a, a, a curtain when you're in here. These doors look very flimsy. In my opinion, much better with a plastic sliding door. And in this case, you can see the bulwark is uh, back to being used for storage. Uh, obviously, I'm always going that you need storage, but I think you also need not to get your head banged if possible. Finally, we'll just have a look at this vehicle. This is a base vehicle that one can build on. Uh, so if you order something like this, you can actually order it with the end, with even out with, with the, the windscreen in the in the roof there. You can get the engine, the seats, and the chassis. And if you're going to build something, that's what you'd be doing. So here we have Alco light chassis. See the bit at the end here, in which the garage is built. I've got films uh, from, for example, Morello and also from the Carrado factories and, and so you can see how 
the build there, maybe not the Mercedes, but on other vehicles. Okay, you can have a look at another film uh, in which I did the entire uh, Mercedes range without commentary, uh, but should that be of interest. Now, here's the one with the broken sink, and I'm sure they'll be able to fix it all right. In fact, once I've finished, I'll go back and put it in correctly myself. However, it is a sort of a warning that these things can sort of come out quite easily. I was using one for a week like that, I had no problems, but anyway, uh, I'll make that point. So there we have Mercedes at Düsseldorf.